Okay, so a little silverware-based therapy. <laughs> um, hold your silverware in your hands. And again, give your feet permission to flow. And give the, your head, the top of your head permission to open up and receive. Give all of this energy permission to flow in through the top of your head, through your body, and down to your feet, through your feet into earth. If you're feeling any pressure or pain or discomfort anywhere, give it permission, acknowledge it, and give it permission to release on its own. And invite the energy to flow. I want you to connect with your heart and your mind. Give your heart and your mind, the pineal gland and the area where the third eye and the crown chakra energy meet, the core of your mind, which is where all of your thoughts are born, where awareness comes in and expresses its connection to self. Allow this and all the love in your heart to connect with each other. This is in many ways an aspect of your pure self. The self that you created, that your soul created when you came to life for the purpose of the life that you're living. If you're feeling any disconnect between your mind and your heart, just give it permission to fully connect and resonate as one. It may feel like a very loving third eye. It may feel like a very considerate, thoughtful heart or all of that together. This is a pure representation of your true self of whom you created to be in this life. All the rest of you is built in layers upon this. But you are here with the essence of your core being. And again, invite your feet to be relaxed and flowing and the top of your head to be relaxed and open and receiving so that you, as you're connecting with your core essence, are able to do this in the most wonderful, energy-soaked, love-infused, flowing environment. I'd like you to have a conversation with your essence. You may be speaking inward to your core, or you may invite your core to sort of step out and look at you like you're speaking into a mirror, or however it works, however it feels. There may be both of you within you, however it feels natural and right. with all of the beautiful divine energy flowing through you. Speak to your core and say, core, I wish to bend a spoon. I would like to bend a spoon right now. Ask your core, what's up with that? How does your core feel about this? 
Does it say, yeah, go on ahead, or does it say, no, you can't? If your core expresses any worry or concern or anything below the resonance of, yes, of course, this is wonderful, speak to your core, speak to your essence, say, why? Talk with your essence. What's going on? Because anything that is below the essence of, yes, this is wonderful, is not of you, is not of your essence. It is something from the outside world that got trapped, stuck within you. And now would be a good time to acknowledge it and release it. It may be some experience you had it may be because society said so. Either way, if it is not of you, it should not be in you. And release it. Thank your essence of being for bringing these to your attention and helping you with releasing all that is not part of your core being so that you may be truly just filled with love thoughtfulness and essence and then together when you are ready you and your essence can bend the spoons <laughs>